The National Sunflower Growing Project has rallied just over 13,000 three- and four-year-old children from all parts of the country, battling it out to grow the tallest oh. sunflower in what a lovely idea. New Zealand. It's a great idea. They spent the last, sorry you, That's all right, you go. they spent the last few months growing their sunflowers and today the results are in. So we've sent India Lishman to Terapa in the Waikato to meet the winners for tooth. Oh, look at that <laughs> shot. Look at the proud winners. I know. This. How could they? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I know. That was worth the trip, Indy. Well, this, there we go. Wave, you can give a <laughs> camera a wave. There's plenty of anticipation oh, yeah. here at Terapa Kindergarten because it hasn't actually been announced who the winner is just yet so I'm going to hand it over to Heidi who is going to do the honours and telling us Heidi who are the winners for this year? Just want to say we're very pleased, Dalton's very pleased to announce that Te Rapa have won the tallest sunflower not only in the Waikato region but also in the entire project ever. Oh, oh wow! Oh gosh, well so done you guys! Good job! Yay. Are you excited? Really excited. And what have you guys learned? Have you been enjoying doing the gardening? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. What's your favourite flower, do you think, that you've grown? Um, that one. This one up here, the tall yellow sunflower. Yeah. And has it been a lot of hard work? Have you guys had to learn a lot about gardening? Yeah. You, these are our lovely little helpers down there. I should have introduced everybody, I'm so sorry. We have Trina here, Hi. who is from the kindergarten, one of the lead teachers, and we've also got Tilly. And, you wouldn't believe it, we have got another indie. So there's two indies here today. Very exciting. So tell us a little bit about this project. What have the kids learnt to this? Because, you know, it's great life skills, mm -hmm. but it's also a bit of fun. What are they learning? Oh, definitely. Um, when we, it's always exciting when we get the Dalton's big box come in and, and the kids get all excited because we know we're going to have to plant them. Yeah. We grow them from seed. Yeah. So we get to learn about our numeracy, about as it grows, we get to measure it. Also, we do lots of science in there because it's also about how we use our wormweeds to make it grow because that's one of our secrets yeah. Um, and yeah just um, it's really exciting to be a part of a project like this yeah it's cool and when you guys were doing your measuring the other day on yeah. Tuesday did you have any feeling that you might be winning again? Because this, I should say, this is actually the second time Terapa Kindergarten has won. So they're clearly professionals at, at Sunflower <laughs> Growing. They, they know what to do. Did you have a feeling you might win? Um, we were hopeful, yeah. but we've got really stiff competition mm. in Hamilton. And um, like one of our sister um, kindergartens, um, they won it last year off us. So we were like, mm, maybe this year we've got it. So who knows? And we did. It's so exciting. What do you think makes the perfect conditions? Actually, I'll ask you, Tilly and Indy, <laughs> what do you think makes the perfect conditions for growing a sunflower? Do you need... Wormweeds. Say that again? Wormweeds. Wormweeds. And what about, what about other stuff like, what about sunshine and water and... Rain. Rain. Perfect. There we go. Well, these are the winners. A massive congratulations to you both. Very good job. There you go, Indy. Well done. And, yeah, that's all us that from us down here in Tarapa so with these beautiful cute. sunflowers. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, they're magnificent. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Indy Leishman in Tarapa.